up and good morning guys welcome back to another video do you guys ever like pop your garage door open as if you're on like a game show and be like behind door number one we've got this awesome new truck for you yeah neither do i but behind door number one let's see what truck we are taking today you can probably already tell by one of the wheels there Today is the day we are taking the LLY. Now, I actually haven't driven the LLY since we got it weighed and fully registered here in California. It just so happened, perfect timing wise, that my dad's Kodiak was uh, giving him some issues that took about two or three days to work through. So luckily I had the LLY here to uh, let him drive for the few days that his Kodiak was down. Well, my plan was to give the LLY a quick wash, but as you can see, the back alley over here is pretty crowded today. So I'm not exactly sure who these people are right here. Um, but if you see that big like, hutch type thing they're loading in the back of the truck there well if you guys remember our feud we're having with the oil guys next door um now that they've since been kicked out of their unit and well yesterday was like the last day that they were moving stuff out i wasn't here uh midday and by the time i got here i noticed there was like this big hutch sitting like right outside of my unit and i'm like huh i wonder if it's like some dudes that were just dumping trash in the back that i caught when i first pulled up or if it was the neighbor next door to me that i actually do get along with like i wonder if they're just moving some stuff out because it's kind of in between mine and his door then i remembered i got cameras all around this place so i watched the cameras and sure enough the oil people next door were moving out their last big pieces of furniture. So the oil guys decided they didn't want to dispose of it. So they were going to put it in front of our door and make it our problem as they were on their way out. Well, obviously we aren't going to let that happen. So last night I moved it over, put it in front of their door, blocking their door. And I'm assuming when the uh, property manager showed up and saw that, they hit them up and somehow they figured out how to get it out of here for somebody to come pick it up. I don't know. But uh, yeah glad they are gone now if you guys remember the other day uh wes and bryant switched wheels on their trucks and the reason being is wes actually has some new wheels that are showing up for his truck and he wanted to see how the truck would look with black wheels whatever it may be now as we all know wes is a big wheeler dealer when it comes to really anything but wheels and tires is like his specialty so if you guys remember the hostile wheels that his buddy had on the k20 that were here the other day they had bought those, they threw them on that truck just as like to see what it would look like, but those wheels got sold to Stance and Rich. Meanwhile, the tires came off because they are essentially brand new uh, Nittos over here. So Wes sold the wheels, kept the tires for his truck, and he's got new wheels that have just shown up today. So Wes came in clutch yesterday, saved me. The OBS, his uh, starter went out when I was at the gym. Luckily, I was able to get it started, go pick up a starter, come to the shop, and Wes helped me swap it last night. So. I definitely owe the guy and the least I can do is load up these tires and take him and meet him at the tire shop because I haven't even seen the new wheels that are going on his truck and well I guess we're all going to see him together. Now on the LOI, if you guys see this little rod in here, this is like a torsion rod that really makes the tailgate pretty light on this truck as opposed to, you know, not having the torsion rod on it. It doesn't really slow down the descent. I mean, I guess it does a little bit, but I don't know. I, I don't know exactly where the previous owner got that but it's a nice little touch instead of having like that big spring or I know they make some that are like a shock mount that attaches right there. I like that this is very discreet. And I'm glad we're moving just tires today because tires and wheels are stupid heavy. Do you guys ever just look at a load tied down on a semi truck and be like, yeah, I don't know if I trust that. Like that looks about as tied down as you can really tie it down. But even then like, Physics is a whole different world. I don't like being alongside trucks like that. We'll just pass this one as quickly as we can. The old Toby Express. And because I feel like we do get some snowflakes on this channel from time to time, I'm not doubting Toby's ability to tie stuff down on his truck. I think he's perfectly capable. I just don't want to be next to it. Ho ho, I see you, Wesley. Damn, I'm glad you drove this. Why? Because it would have took you an hour to get here in the Ford. Oh, get out of here. What are we doing, everybody's having lunch right now? <laughs> I don't want to interrupt. Them. So, well, this is what Wes's truck. Can move that out of the way. Let's show him what your truck looks like with well, Bryant's these, wheels yeah, and okay, tires. Bryant's. These ain't my little dinky <laughs> wheels and tires. So. so it's funny when when Wes put these on. I don't. Uh, you didn't see him, but Brian actually came over and took pictures of how much tread he had left because he didn't trust you. Because <laughs> he figured you'd be roasting it off because you're borrowing his wheels and tires. I'm not borrowing his. He's borrowing mine. Uh oh. -uh. Well, he polished yours for you. Oh, well, he should. He gets it right around on specialties, so. Oh, all right. Well, if he screws mine up, that's going to drop my value by like half. Fair, I'm trying, fair. I'm trying to get some money on them things. Wes over here, he's become a corporate man now. He's got the big Archon Wheel sponsorship. Wes, we're going to have to put your link down in the uh, in the description here for your, your Archon code. Yeah, of course. Drop down a menu of SoCal underscore 6.2 on us. Oh, custom there's a drop down and menu? Archon, yep. Dang, you big time, dude. Hey. What's it like? feels amazing so for everybody that wants to get a sponsorship I know you're pretty good at getting some little sponsorships here and there are some discounts 
Well, what do you think it takes? Hard work, determination, <laughs> and just like anything else, right? You gotta work for it. I don't know, meet a YouTuber and get your name out there. <laughs> These wheels are very similar to what uh, you're running right now. So one of the things that Archon, uh, when they brought their company to, you know, to what it is, is it was gonna be cast wheels that are affordable and true directional, which is something you usually only see with your higher end multi-piece or forged wheels. And that's never made sense to me because if you see directional wheels, they look really stupid when they're the wrong direction. So most directional wheel companies or most cast wheel companies, they only want to make one mold. So they're all facing the same way. So half of your truck's going to have the directional wheel facing the correct way and the other half's going to have them the wrong way, which doesn't make sense to me. If you're selling thousands of wheels, what's it cost to make one more mold in the proper orientation? The cool thing about Archon is they do make true directional wheels. So you do get two per side. And they have essentially a forged wheel look to them, which is something I've always liked when uh, Brian showed up with these. Yeah, they, they do the exposed lug nuts instead of a big gaudy center cab. I think they actually coined the phrase proper directional is what they use Ooh. for advertising instead of true directional. Well, let's they see what we got going on. Let's, let's, let's check them out. I mean, we've already got one unwrapped here. I guess we look at the, the first unwrapped one. So I think this is their newest model. This is the Caesar. It's, a, it's available in the black machine and then the chrome. I actually wanted the chrome, but they were a few few more weeks or months out on shipping. So I actually ended up going with the black machine because I, I do like black machines. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I was saying, these are, these are very similar to what he's got on there now, which are Bryant's wheels. But these to me have a little cleaner of a look to them, which I like instead of being like so jaggedy and aggressive looking. These, you see these kind of have more aggressive, sharper lines to it. Yeah, these I like are, how these are clean right there around that edge instead of having the, the machined edge come into it. And in case you guys are wondering, they do cause cancer in California, so we're good. That's what you need, Wes. That's 24 by 16. 24 by 16. Big old crack. He, he off this thing. It's a long travel on the escalator. Uh, you guys, uh, I'm gonna be kind of nice because he works here, but <laughs> you guys may have seen this escalator on my Instagram years ago. And if not, go back and uh, check this thing out. This thing has been through the ringer and back. It's got a full crazy dual coilover suspension setup on it. I mean, insanely wide with these 16 wides, right? The, we just saw one that was cracked in there, and they're cast, aren't they? Yeah, they're cast. These are the cast ones. The center, I think, the center is forged, and the the barrel is cast. It's a fuel, it's the fuel two piece. But um, I seen this thing a couple years ago too, and I did see it go around on the internet where he got it high centered in a ditch because it's only two wheel drive. No, he was trying to turn around on like the side of the road. It yeah. Wasn't, it, it wasn't oh, yeah. no ditch. Oh, he tried to turn around, but he got high centered or caught in it or something. It was. Uh, but yeah. he, clearly, they like. They're either not done with it for the past like five years or what, but this thing I know is, they sent it to like Vegas for the whole long travel to get done. It's it's a weird setup. I mean, you don't see this too often. Well, all right, I guess we're running it's got eight lights on this side. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> running. That's because they cracked they cracked the other ones, but yeah, this is uh, I mean, this is about as goofy as a setup as it is. When <laughs> this kind of plays into it, this is a crazy setup. I mean, just the dual coilovers alone is odd. It looks like we're already uh, at the limit there on the limit strap. I don't know where the fender flares went. I wish the sun wasn't at a bad angle right now. We could get a better shot of this, and I wish he had the 16 wides on this side. I mean, I, you know, we all got to give the guy credit. At least he uses it. Oh no, he beat the hell out of it. Yeah, they kind of had to rip the fenders off. You ain't gonna fit these tires with fenders. Interior pretty much matches the exterior. It's, it's crazy how wide this is. Oh, nice little cut there for the exhaust. Or whatever with the body kit. I mean, if it was clean, it'd be one thing. I gotta give them credit where credit is due. You don't see anything like that. On the CTSV. This is Wes's world right here. Don't you want one of these? Or didn't you I want I did one? want. I wanted a wagon. You wanted a wagon? Nah, I've never been a wagon guy. I like this color though. That's like cobalt blue or something. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. You can see all the seams. Oh, you can see the, the one big seam down the center of the hood there. What do we got? We got a, oh, dude. Swag pack, bro. That's a good looking hat right well, there. Here it is. Yeah, you gotta wear this. To, no, come on. Proper direct. You're gonna be a company man, Wes. You gotta have all this on right now for this video. Oh, dude, here. Throw this on his truck real quick. All right. What do we got there? Swooping. How to run proper directional wheels. Or you can dig. 
So should we be digging or swooping? I think we should be swooping. I don't think or anybody I wants could to dig. swap. I can swap one from each side. I can swoop and dig at the same time. Yeah, that's proper directional. Yeah, we're definitely more in the swooping. That's the preferred look. We want to swoop. We want to swoop. Oh, so, dude, you got the air freshener too? Of course. Oh, Wes, we got some competition, bro. The fuel Triton, got the rough under, the Vertex coilovers. It's like the cast version of my wheel, yeah. essentially. Oh, yeah, that's good. That must be Brian's cousin because that's like a six inch rough country stretch to like an eight and a half. The damn control arm is on the droop stop. Yeah, that was a little sketchy like, setup there. It's riding on the droop stop, so it's literally just cranked. What do you think, buddy? Any scratch? I don't see any scratches. It might have did okay. It did good. It's got a double valve stem. Double valve stem. If you want, we got eight ball valve stem caps off that super sweet drift track you bought. Well, there's only two on there. Oh, oh you're going to pick? All right, we got to pick. Dig or scoop? That, that's a... That's a dig. Or a swoop, what do they call a, it? That's a swoop, that's, that's right. That's a swoop, yeah, we, I right. prefer the swoop. I don't think they're gonna look good as dig. Everybody's gonna call you off for your wheels being backwards if you, if you want yeah, them to dig. Yeah, but I'll just tell them I'm digging. That's digging. That's digging. So should we dig? Or well, should you should we... dig with the rear because it'll be like paddles. Oh. And then we'll swoop with the front. Those will be like the smoothies on the front. Exactly. We'll, we'll get the best of both. Perfect. Drill a couple more holes in them. Put them on that LLY over there. Yeah. Let's see what they look like. Put them next to it. I'm sure I'm sure Arcon wouldn't mind doing something with the... Uh... Should we put some Arcon wheels on the LLY, guys? Let me know what you Comment think. Comment what model. All right, we'll let Wes load these. Come on, dude. Let's see it. This, Strong man. Nah, there's just grease all over. Uh, don't get grease on my two bed liners, all right? Uh, Keep them clean. I hate lifting these things. Perfect fit. Perfect. All right, so everybody check my Instagram for sale. I'm gonna sell these since they're in my possession right now. We're gonna head back to the warehouse. Uh, Wes likes to mount his own tires, so instead of having these guys mount them, we're just gonna head back to the warehouse and do it there. I must say, it is crazy. What about a hour and a half of difference makes in the alleyway being empty now? And the good news is we do have a helper here. I don't know where he is. And yes, it does look weird wearing a flannel with a tank top underneath. It looks like I'm just trying to show off my one chest hair that I have. Let's see where our helper is. Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. Are you working hard? Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, just kick your feet up there. Get comfortable. I think we should bring the couch down here. I mean, you could just walk upstairs. Is that too much work? That's scary up there. Oh, it's dark? Yeah. Too bad my truck's not here. We should have thrown it on mine. Oh, I know. Go get your truck. That's your glove? Yep. Ow! Wes ain't messing no messing around here. What do we got, Wes? We got the Milwaukee 2767. Uh-oh. What battery are we running? We, we got the 9.0 high demand. Oh, we're getting some 12.0s. They're too big for... I need it for my vacuum. <laughs> Is that the right way? No, that's... That's digging. Dude, I hate directional wheels so much. They're so hard. Yeah. I've never been a directional wheel fan, let alone having to decide which way is the right way. And if you get cast wheels, you don't get true directional. But to me, I just really like like a straight spoke or just, I don't like directional. It just, it's never been a good look in my eyes. That's, that's swooping. When we go the other way. But yeah, what happens when we go the other way? This is hard. I thought we had this figured out, Wes. I thought so, but this is hard. Now we're swooping. Hold on, let me. I think. Brian's wheel just rolled off on its own. That's all right. We don't need those. It's T work. <coughs> we'll do all the heavy work. That's good stuff right there. Oh man, this digging, not scooping. Is it wrong? Yeah. No, it ain't. <laughs> Let me get the handy dandy card out. Yeah, we need the card. Oh, you're good. Now nah, those are swooping. You're good. How's it like? Does it compare? That's right. Oh yeah, we're swooping. That's how you know Wes has made it, guys. We got a live stream, the wheel install for his buddies over at Archon. Chris, we seriously have a couch upstairs. And you, you sit in the weirdest spots. What are you doing? Are you like a bird? You just like to be up high? So we're gonna have Brian's wheels left here. Anytime anybody's been leaving wheels and tires here, I've just been posting them on my Instagram for ridiculously cheap. Just to have everybody blow up their Instagram. So if you guys see like an amazingly cheap deal on stuff that I don't own, it's probably not real, but you should still blow up their Instagram. So we're gonna do that right now with Brian's wheels. Nice picture there. For sale. What do you guys think? What, what price should we put these at, Chris? Yeah, 300 bucks. 300 bucks? We'll do 299. It looks better. 299 for the set. And we will post. Now, the problem is, this usually backfires on me because most people can't read that simple little DM 
so-and-so about this offer and somehow I ended up fielding a lot of the DMs. All right, I got to program your, your new tire sensors. So Wes has his little Amazon programmer. Nah, I forgot to do it before they mounted them. So typically this little meter. Why is this one yellow and that one? Hey, Chris, where's your whoa, phone? Whoa, 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 what's going on there? It looks like a light's out. That's a whole LED strip. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Somebody probably swapped my light. Hey, man, shut the video <laughs> off. Somebody stole my light. Nothing's going right for Wes right now. So his little sensor that he has, he bought on Amazon. You can put the truck into, like, learn mode or something. And then uh, you just walk around to each one. It'll honk at you once it it's programmed. On, like, thinner. these are 12-ply rated. So it won't read through this. I, I knew that. That's why I was supposed to program the sensors prior. But the guys at the shop were... They are quick. They were, well, they were rushing and they were quick. Plus, it's a pain in the butt to lay out. Uh, that don't even make Now it just changed on its own. I didn't even know it was yellow. Oh, is it your sensor telling you what corner to go to? That's what That's it what it is. <laughs> we're stupid. You're out here trying to make me look like a fool, Ryan. Chris is the one calling you out. Damn, it was. That was that's the light for the So the truck will tell you it'll light up a light on each corner, letting you know which one is to be programmed at that time when you're running around with the little programmer that he's got. Yo. What's up, Big Lou? Is this I the gotta, next project, Big Lou? We yeah. lifting this bad boy? We'll compete with Lacey Blair. Yeah, we'll do like a Kelderman lift. Like I'll drop the front, and like lower the back. And Here, you wanna do the honors? Big Lou's got his replacement parts, so if you remember his compressor showed up broken for his uh, horn blasters kit. I guess this is a common occurrence, basically since you have this big old thing hanging off the end there in shipping, sometimes it can happen. So I guess they have a replacement or a uh, repair kit for it, and I'm assuming he's replacing that head. We'll see what's in the box here. That of course does cost cancer in California. We also went with another compressor because he wants to run dual compressors. See, did this one show up good? Hopefully. Sure. We got some more wires, wiring. So there's that's the new head uh, for the compressor. That's your new top end. Right? God bless. Lou had originally ordered the four horn kit and then he got the bracket for the six horn. So obviously, you know, if you're going to run the giant expensive bracket, you might as well upgrade. So he got the two extra horns that mount up to this kit. That way it'll actually look complete. You got the two compressors to go on the two compressor slots over there. And then obviously the tank going on the rear. Hopefully they sent the, uh, we get the manifold. Yeah, we got the six horn manifold. We got a six horn manifold. There we go, six horn manifold. One thing we got to give uh, Horn Blasters credit to is every time that we've had an issue and whoever's bought it has hit them up, they have made it right. Yeah, they have. <laughs> So unfortunately, so. unfortunately, we have to go that route. That's, that was the main issue that we had is that we have to use the customer service route. To anybody who's calling me, anybody who's contacting me, this is my attorney, Wes. So please talk to him. He's going to do a talking from now on. And that's it. That's how we're gonna... Well, guys, I totally got distracted today. Never ended up watching the LLY, unfortunately. I'll get it done tomorrow, though. We got Wes back here. Turn that off. What, what's happening? Turn it off. We got issues? Yeah, turn it what off. What happened? Turn it off. Doctor. Once I get my sockets. You know, Wes being a good guy out here, he's taking care of our uh, shipping clerk's car, doing her brakes for her, but uh, apparently her neighbor who's been doing brakes forever stripped all of her lug nuts. <laughs> Wes is pissed. They're all getting stuck in the sockets because they're so rounded over. It's gonna be a lot. Ha ha, <laughs> YouTube. This is Angry Wes. Everybody meet Angry Wes. Or maybe frustrated Wes. They've already, they've met me. She knew what? it too. <laughs> She's like, oh, I got lug nuts because my, my neighbor said they're stripped. Oh, did he? <laughs> well, we're gonna, breaks last, my neighbor. We're gonna let Wes hang out with that for a little while. We're gonna wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you don't miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like again, a thumbs up. Boy, what else you gotta say? I'm just getting warmed up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Wes, you wanna happily roll the outro? I'm gonna roll that car into a ditch. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.